We're team one and we're looking at the issue of describing the features of integrative approaches to negotiation. So the first one is that this is interest-based bargain. You should focus on the interest of each party rather than the distribution of fixed resources. Uh, it states that outcomes and relationships between the parties are very important. The pie is not fixed and everyone can get more and this leads to a win-win situation. Um, so there's four basic components to integrative approaches to negotiation and these were outlined by Fisher and Yuri. The first is to separate the people from the problem. The second is to focus on the interests and not the positions. The third is to generate a variety of alternatives that provide mutual gain. And the fourth is to evaluate the alternatives based on objective criteria. So for the first one, separating people from the problem, uh, Fisher and Yuri basically said that parties emotionally get attached to the problem and that a miscommunication can lead to hurt feelings, a downward spiral, and then this can negatively impact on negotiation. So people may have an ongoing relationship, so in order to uh, have a successful negotiation, you should detach the people from the problems. Um, in terms of focusing on interests and not positions, there's four main points that Fury and Fisher and Yuri <laughs> pointed out. <laughs> the first one is uh, substantive interest, and this states that the needs that relate to a material outcome. Then there's a relationship interest, and this is to deal with the ongoing relationship with the other party. There's process interest, and these are the interests concerned with the negotiation process itself and then interest principles, and these are concerns about what is ethical and just. So the third uh, component is to generate a variety of alternatives that provide mutual gain. Um, there's a few steps here, and the first is to develop alternatives that create value by working together. The best way to achieve this is brainstorming, and um, because of this, uh, Fisher and Yuri say that creative option generation is, is a useful negotiation skill. Um, there is obstacles to creating value and these are four main ob obstacles. The first is to making premature judgement. The second is searching for a single answer. The third is believing that the pie is fixed. And the fourth is the assuming that the other party should meet their own goals. So then the fourth uh, component is to evaluate the alternatives based on objective criteria. So the steps to this are evaluate the options and claim value. Insist on objective criteria to evaluate the alternatives. Remove the personal to decision based on objective agreed standards and then finally you should evaluate the proposals according to merits and avoid reactive devaluation. Thank you.